Welcome to our latest ABI Snapshot, where we spotlight critical findings and the latest research from our global team of analysts. In this video, I will be speaking with supply chain and logistics industry analyst Adish Luitel about how warehouse asset tracking can address major logistics pain points such as inventory shrinkage and lengthy dwell time, as well as create efficiencies around yard management complications and order fulfillment. So Adish, to start us off, what are some of the key trends we're seeing uh, in logistics and warehousing today? Well, logistics and warehousing in recent times have been very eventful on a global level due to the supply chain disruptions. So there are three major trends I'd like to cover. Firstly, e-commerce has been growing rampantly. This sector had been experiencing steady growth before 2020, but the pandemic triggered an extraordinary increase in demand for orders. Uh, the second trend that we're seeing is the changes in inventory management for a lot of large organizations. Uh, lean inventories kept by these companies adopting the just-in-time model have been largely impacted by the ongoing disruptions since they require the shipments to arrive and depart on time. As a result, companies can't do this anymore more and they're deviating away from this model. Uh, another trend that we're seeing is a growth in warehouse automation. Currently, the warehouse automation market is very lucrative with a lot of fulfillment solutions gaining popularity. And this market is expected to double in size within the next five years. Uh, the fourth trend that we're seeing is the increased digitization of logistics operations. Software platforms like warehouse management systems can be deployed on the cloud as well as on-premise. And now they offer an additional level of flexibility and integration with uh, devices like trackers or sensors or robots. We're also seeing a lot of reshoring projects from large companies. American and European companies have been bringing production closer to home, boosting manufacturing in North America and Europe. The US has added a total of over 224,000 jobs from abroad last year. Another trend that we're seeing in logistics that's actually turning out to be a big problem is a lack of warehouse workers. And this is leading to a lot of staffing complexities. This is another reason automation and logistics and uh, operations are getting popular. And given these trends, why is there a need for location intelligence in warehousing and logistics? Due to the recent supply chain disruptions, there is a growing need for supply chain executives to take a more of a proactive management approach to mitigate any potential disturbances. This translates to getting end-to-end -end visibility of warehousing operations as well, and indoor positioning is a big part of it. Indoor positioning deploys a system of devices such as beacons and trackers uh, that can be used to locate people or objects within indoor spaces where satellite technologies lack the precision. Doing this, they can uh, manage the journey of assets, starting from pickups, quality control, and storage to retrieval. As customer expectations for rapid delivery grows, warehouses are finding it challenging to process the volume of goods passing through the facilities in time. So, th so there is a need in the industry for warehouses to be as efficient as possible. Another pain point in warehousing and logistics is inventory shrinkage. On average, inventory shrinkage accounts for 1.3% of all retail sales. That translates to a lot of losses. This is also a big pain point that ma warehouse managers are looking to solve. Uh, there is also a lack of true visibility into assets such as rolled containers, forklifts, and totes. There, there are instances of huge wastages with rolled containers in the lo logistics industry. Up to 40% of them are not being used for up to 10 months of the year, and 3% of them are written off every year as lost or damaged. That, that can lead to a lot of losses. Another major pain point location intelligence could solve is zone picking complications. Uh, there are instances of goods being placed in the long, wrong zone. This could lead to workflow issues and assets might get underutilized. A messy warehouse layout means a lot of operational bottlenecks that could result in warehouse workflow on inefficiency and order fulfillment delays. Great, Adish. And finally, how do location platforms enhance where, warehousing operations? Location intelligence can combine location-based data with analytics to uncover new insights that were previously hidden. By doing this, they can uh, enhance warehousing operations in a lot of different ways. First, firstly, location intelligence can help warehouse workflow layout and also can help enhance workplace safety. 
Also with the help of location intelligence, rule cages with tags attached to them become trackable on a real dash, real time dashboard, as well as on the maps of warehouses. This can help operators swiftly search for the pallets and locate them uh, on the map based on allocated areas and reduce costs. Location intelligence can also largely reduce dwell time within the warehouse at times by up to 50%. Real time location tracking at granular level in via location intelligence can accurately detect which forklifts are idle and active. Finally, another area location platforms can help with is yard management. In yard management, the deployment of capabilities such as real-time tracking, yard mapping, and navigation, uh, warehouse managers can react swiftly to short-term deviations like surges in demand and an unexpected shutdown of equipment or absence of uh, workers in the yard. This makes it fast and easy to execute a new plan. Great. Adish, uh, thank you for this very quick overview. And uh, for more on the solutions location intelligence can provide warehouse operators and help increase productivity and efficiency, please be sure to watch our on-demand webinar, which takes, uh, which takes a more detailed look at this technology's potential. Thank you.